Hi! Welcome to the Artie Crafty Planner channel. Today I'm going to try using the Love Doki kit for the third time and see how far we get. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get planning. I'm just going to grab out next week's pages. This was my first week using the Love Doki kit and this was my second week using the Love Doki kit so we'll see how far we get using it one more time. So as you can see I still have a huge amount of this kit left so I am sure that we can do another whole spread with it. I really love this piece here so I'm definitely wanting to use that one. What washi do we have left? Okay I think we have enough washi left hopefully. I can pull some other washi in if I need to but I think we're okay. I'll put my check boxes aside for now. Now I need... I like that one. Yeah I'm using that one. Yes. I need a wider washi for the bottom because I've gone over last week. Cover these eyes up. Then I'm going to trim off the excess. Stick that back on there for a second. Hoping I can make this a nice short filming today just because it is so hot and I've had to turn the fan off to film. So I'm just going to trim this between the is and hope. Going to carry that over to the other side but I know that there's going to be a little excess of this color here so I just want to make sure I get the whole is in. There's just a tiny little bit to trim off here. Now I think I'll take the black spots to the top of this one just to pull them across. So we have the pinky peach spots down there and then we'll have the black and white spots up here. And then we'll put the hope at the top over here. So we have where there is life there is hope. And then we've got this wide washi here that says sweet. So I'm going to take that and add that to the bottom. We have the washi done so I'll take that away for now and as you can see there's not much left of that so even if I could get another page out of this one I couldn't actually use the washi. Okay let's look at what boxes we've got. Now I already know I really want to use that one but I'm thinking I'd pull that colour to this side. So I'll put that one there and then I also want this colour pulled to this side so I'll add that one on. I'm going to add this one here which gives me the added benefit of covering over these check boxes. Okay so let's see what do we want. I really I think this floral one is very pretty and it could go sideways so I'm going to lay that there and I will layer my check box over the top of it just so that I have enough room to write. I've changed my mind. Luckily these stickers are peeling up very easily but if you do have difficulty lifting them up if you're a crafter you could use your heat tool and if you're not a crafter you could use a hairdryer to help lift them more easily. I'm just going to try and eyeball cutting a little off the top and bottom of this. Oh this is really hard. Let's try it this way. <laughs> I'm taking it off the backing so that it's straight. And then I'm going to stick it down so I can try and get a straight cut. I haven't covered these check boxes up unfortunately but never mind. <laughs> I knew that that was going to be a possibility now. This week mostly I'm going to use these beautiful rainbow ones. As I've said before I wish I could get a whole packet just of these beautiful rainbows. Okay, for our short check boxes, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, which way should we go? Okay, I might change one of these check boxes for this gold one. I'm just going to put this back on the sheet to use another time. I really love these check boxes, they're so pretty. I'm tempted to buy another kit just so I can have more of those check boxes. <laughs> A little crazy. So I might pull some more purple in with this check box. And then. I want to use some of these banners, so what do we have? Not much left. We're getting pretty low. <laughs> December, thanks. Okay, we're not in December, so I can't use that. Need one more checkbox, and I don't know what colour to choose. Wishy washy, wishy washy. Where? My daughter just chose this colour checkbox. I'm not vibing with it, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we have our flowers. I've grabbed this Today is Your Day sticker. I just feel like we need a little bit more 
colour and then that way that pink sticker will match in a little better. And then I'm going to add this flower sticker on there. I'm going to place this sticker up here because I don't actually have any banners that I can use on there left that would work. I'm going to pull a little black over to this side. And then on here I need to choose a flower and I think I don't want to go too big. I'm going to gently peel that sticker up and add this body banner to bring some more spots in. And then I'm going to layer up, I want a smaller flower or set of flowers so that we can still see a lot of those stripes. Now I'm just going to grab some small flowers to finish decorating. Swapping that sticker around for a bigger one there. After three layouts, this is what I have left. So I have lots of those little check boxes, which I really like for Saturday and Sunday. I have still plenty of flowers. And then there is a few of these check boxes left. Not many banners are left. We've managed to use most of them, but actually I think let's layer these up a little. So we have two banners there now. Our washi sheet is pretty much empty. Time is a bird forever on the wing. That is what we have left. So I'm thinking I want to cut this in half. I'm going to take half of this and I'm just going to do an angled slice and I'm going to pull some more of that green over this side. But I didn't want to cover up all of the spots. Not loving how this one looks. I think. Let's try the plain gold and then lay the art slightly over the top. That is three full weeks using the Love Doki kit. There is still elements I could use, but I've really, really loved using this kit. It was less than $6 Australian, so probably less than $5 US. As you can see, I made it stretch a very long way. So let's work out filming. So Sunday, as always, is planner. I think I want to get that done. And that's all the filming I need to do this week. I have a bunch of videos I need to get edited. Now this week I definitely want to do a live. I couldn't do my live last week because I was double booked for some things. And then by the time they were done it was so hot and we were exhausted. It just wasn't going to happen. So I decided on Friday that knowing how hot it was going to be that we wouldn't do that. Here is my pre-plan. I haven't gotten to the blog again. I am hopeless. Can't seem to fit everything in. So I'll write edit in every day just to see if I can get some videos edited. I'll leave Saturday edit free. Live prep is going to take a long time because I actually want to pull out all the doubles of the things that my mum gave me so that I am not showing twice as much stuff because there is a heck of a lot of stuff to get through. That will of course be on my other channel. I did start prep for getting my blogs done. So I'm hoping I can actually take some of that with me when we go to dinner tonight to get done. I have gotten better about posting my videos to Facebook the last couple of videos, so that's good because I was forgetting to even do that. I have a memory like a sieve and it just all runs out. There's so many steps to having a channel and having different media where you post to. I actually need to get myself a big reminder and have everything listed of what I need to do. Okay, Wednesday and Thursday are going to be big cleaning days because we are having some super super hot weather and the super hot weather knocks me about something chronic. I'm going to add Audi here as a special because I have the Audi alcohol markers again and I want to get some of them if they have new colours and if they don't I'll let everyone know. So we have hope. We will add washing there. I've finally gotten a new date for our inspection. It was a bit of a befuffle. They, I rang up and said that we weren't going to be home that week. Could we reschedule it? And then they just never rang back. And then I was out on Friday and I come home to a hand-delivered letter to say that I wasn't home. So this is your new, newly scheduled one. So just got to make sure everything's in order for that. Now the date is the 5th of October 2018. I also have to do market prep for my mum. She's really, really pushing for me to get stuff done. So I want to get a lot of cleaning done and I'll try and get 
a bunch of stuff done on those two days so it doesn't go over into my cleaning days I want them to be mostly cleaning those days if I get as much as I want done then I will go back and do some market but cleaning is most of what I need to get done on those two cool days because it has been so stinking hot and I don't function well in the heat so that will have to be my cleaning days a lot less going on at the moment which is good this is my week planned out as I said I don't have to do as much filming because I already have videos ready to edit if you want to see the scrawler box video or my crafty videos they are on the arty crafty alchemy YouTube channel which I will link over here and I will link the subscription button to this channel if you enjoyed my planner process I have a review of erasable pens coming up as well as Kmart planners and Kaiser Craft planners that will be coming up on my channel as well. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you want to know when those come out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.